Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Wednesday, November 4, 2020 on our channel. Efficient Energy GmbH presenting the next generation of its e-chiller chilled water units. Calter registered record sales in Q3 2020. Commercial Refrigeration Equipment Market Report 2019-2024 Kaiser Warren EPTA US announces an investment plan of more than $27 million at the Columbus site in Georgia. Dakin launched new Perfira air conditioner. So, first news today. Efficient Energy GmbH presenting the next generation of its e-chiller chilled water units. The latest model, the e-chiller 120 offers 120 kilowatts cooling capacity with 0% direct CO2 emissions. With its Blue Zero technology that uses water as a refrigerant, the company is a pioneer in the field of clean cooling. By scaling its new products, Efficient Energy GmbH has now made clean cooling viable for applications requiring higher cooling capacities. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Calter registered record sales in Q3 2020. Calter has announced a record sales increase of 25% in the third quarter compared to the same period last year, despite the negative events of the year 2020. The company saw increased sales in all segments, including water chillers and air conditioning equipment, and reported strong orders for heat exchangers, reaffirming Calter's role as the leading manufacturer of microchannel heat exchangers. Paul Larson business development officer, said the company had delivered record sales for the fourth quarter in a row, realizing its potential not only in terms of sales volumes but also by providing engineering support to its clients around the world, and will continue to leverage its strengths and global market presence to deliver valuable synergies for its businesses in the future. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Commercial Refrigeration Equipment Market Report 2019-2024 the future of the commercial refrigeration equipment market looks promising with opportunities in the in the food service, food and beverage retail, food and beverage distribution food, and beverage production sector. The global commercial refrigeration equipment market is expected to grow with a CAGR of 9% from 2019 to 2024. The major growth drivers for this market are rapid growth in the organized retail sector, increasing demand for packaged food and beverages, rise in international food trade, and varying food consumption patterns to boost the sales of commercial refrigeration equipment. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Kaiser Warren EPTA US announces an investment plan of more than $27 million at the Columbus site in Georgia. Kaiser Warren EPTA US announces an investment plan of more than $27 million and the added opportunity to generate more than 200 jobs by 2023. An ambitious program destined to strengthen operations at the Columbus site in Georgia, optimize customer service, expand the range of products and implement cutting-edge solutions. A new training center is also planned for installers, contractors and service technicians dedicated to natural and sustainable refrigeration. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Dakin launched new Perfira air conditioner. The new Perfira FTXMR series offers an all-in-one heating, cooling and clean air solution housed in an elegant indoor unit whose contemporary form and flowing lines will grace any interior. Now housed in an even smaller unit measuring 30 mm less than previous versions, the Perfira FTXMR slash RXMR blends in effortlessly. The new unit is easy to install, with near-silent operation offering an unobtrusive solution and comes in a wide range of sizes. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. Please find the links below.